quality wine comes from quality grapes, and grape diseases can negatively affect grape quality. Grape diseases affect vineyards worldwide, and Kentucky is no exception. Our wet springs and humid summers are perfect conditions for disease development. One such disease is powdery mildew. In fact, the number one disease of grape worldwide is powdery mildew. The fungal disease favors arid conditions and high humidity, just like our Kentucky summers. The most common symptom of powdery mildew is the white, dusty, or powdery fungal growth on top sides of leaves, young shoots, and fruit. When leaves are infected, plants cannot photosynthesize enough to elevate sugar content in fruit, and low sugar content greatly affects grape flavor. And while grapes with low sugar content can make the difference between an average flavored wine and a superior wine, diseased fruit can actually transfer an off flavor into wine. In fact, some winemakers reject bunches with as little as 3% infection from powdery mildew. In addition to wine flavor, powdery mildew can have other negative impacts. For example, infected fruit are more susceptible to other diseases, and diseased vines are more susceptible to winter injury and stunting. Ultimately, that means fewer grapes next year. By understanding a bit about the pathogen, it makes it easier to understand how to actually manage this disease. So in spring, when temperatures reach about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, fungal spores begin to infect grape plants. And here in Kentucky, that 50 degree mark occurs quite early in the season, which is why fungicide application should begin before plants begin to bloom. After this initial early spring infection stage, the fungus produces a second type of spores that we call the repeating stage. This infection period will continue as long as temperatures are moderate, meaning that if we think the temperature is comfortable, so does the fungus. Therefore, protectant fungicides are required all season in order to protect both leaves and berries from the powdery mildew fungus. Late in the growing season, just as harvest approaches, the fungus produces an overwintering structure that allows it to tolerate cold temperatures. These structures resemble little Velcro balls and are able to stick to vines and cracks in bark. In spring, as weather warms, these Velcro ball structures release the spores that initiate infections and the cycle begins all over again. So as you see, late season disease, if left unmanaged, can result in high risk for the following growing season and even larger amounts of fungal inoculum in the vineyard. The University of Kentucky College of Agriculture and Department of Plant Pathology have a wide range of disease management publications available for both commercial growers and homeowners alike. So contact your local cooperative extension service for more information.